so guys in this video we are going to create this nice and rich eye color we add the contact lens effect you can see that we first remove the red in the eye using just one adjustment layer then we'll go on to add this beautiful contact lens effect and then add a little bit of contrast to add drama to the overall image and make everything pop and look more amazing we'll cover everything from a to z so we delete all this adjustment we made let's just take a look at the before and after this was the before this is the after we are going to delete it and create everything step by step from start to finish so the first step is to create a hue saturation adjustment layer take the hand picker tool and click on the eye you see the channel change from master to red because there's red in the eye color and that's what we want to remove so take the saturation down take the lightness a little bit up you see the overall image is now desaturated because there's a lot of red in every skin tone so make sure you're on the layer marks and press ctrl i on your keyboard to invert the layer marks and make it black to remove the effect from the overall image take your brush make sure foreground is white and paint on the eye to review this effect only on the eye which is where it is desirable so this was the before and this is the after next step is to add the contact lens so check the link in the description to download this file go to the folder where you save this eye contact lens to and drag it into photoshop now we are going to select the contact lens from the white background how do you easily do that just take your elliptical marking tool and hold shift to make a perfect cycle selection increase the size make sure your selection is inside of the eye lens not outside or even at the edge it should be inside because there's an effect we'll be adding that will blend the whole selection which will only work well if you make this selection inside of the eye lens so when you are okay with the selection you've made click on the layer marks to create this selection around the lens to remove the white background so now Ctrl T in order to have the ability to reshape this or reduce the size of this island so reduce the size to match accordingly when you're okay you click on OK now you can see that this is outside of the eye in some places we easily max it out create a group and take this contact lens into the group rename the group now the next thing is to create a layer max this time on the group take your brush make sure your brush hardness is 100 so choose a hard round brush Take your foreground to black because you are going to hide the eye lens from the outer part of the eyes so easily brush over to remove this and place the eye lens in the perfect position when you are okay you let go you can see that the edge of this selection we made here is too sharp We'll make that look nice very soon just make sure you're on the layer marks inside here go to your properties and increase the fade rain to blend this selection and make it look more natural do the same thing for this contact lens group go to your properties make sure you're on the layer marks go to the properties and increase the fade rain a little bit i see everything is now well blend what next why on your layer that is the contact lens layer change the blending mode to screen to make this shine and look more realistic and beautiful 
create a levels adjustment after creating the levels right click on the levels adjustment and create a clipping max you can hold alt and do the same thing by holding alt and left clicking when you see this arrow to clip or unclip the same thing just shortcut now after creating the levels adjustment you adjust accordingly to pop and make this look more rich shining and adding more drama to the effect this was the before and this is the after amazing right now to finalize everything just create another levels adjustment this one is going to affect the overall image and dial it down increase the highlight uh reduce the mid tone and increase the black point to create this before and after adding contrast adds drama to the image and pop it and make everything look rich and beautiful this was the general before this is the after haven't you subscribed to this channel already why not please subscribe to this channel like this video leave your feedback in the comment section we are so happy every time we hear from you and this video actually came as a result of a comment from the previous video so let us know what you want to see in a future video happy to be part of your creative journey See you in another amazing tutorial.